Right, so in this video we're going to speak about the Silo Framework screen. In the screen, this is where you manage all your keywords and map out your Silo architecture framework. Right, the Silo Decision screen basically consists of a few core components. One is the Keyword Decision Grid. Two is where you import your keywords into the system. Three is where you manage your business rules and filters. And number four is just where you manage the blueprint, where you're shuffling things around. Now, the way it works is you import your keywords, you then select the best keywords that are profitable and move them across the Silo Framework Manager. And then while you're doing this, you can mass assign supporting keywords and synonyms to the parenting keyword, which essentially creates what we call the DNA braid. This is um, DNA meaning made up of, and braid, everyone knows what a braid is, is where things are interwoven. So essentially, if your primary keyword page was about permaculture courses, um, the DNA break could be permaculture course design, permaculture courses online, uh, permaculture DVD. Words that support the page and define the page using different verbiage. Okay. Now, what does the keyword grid do? Um, when we designed DWS, we basically wanted an engine that could actually process and do a lot of quality checks on every single keyword so that we didn't have to sit and think about it. And what happens is when we import the keywords into DWS, every single keyword gets ranked and scored based on our business decisions, uh, rules, and um, some SEO factoring rules. And it's about 17 different quality checks that the keyword goes through to check that each keyword is profitable. And what happens is the keywords that have the highest possibility be, of being profitable for us flow to the top. Now this algorithm takes into account all the business rules as well as the keyword data and SEO competitive factors. If, uh, if you adjust the rules, the entire system responds giving you the results of that change from front to back. What does that mean from front to back? It means basically wherever something is calculated throughout the entire system, when you change one of your business rules, that change reflects system wide. Okay. So basically what happens is all your unprofitable or out of budget keywords, they get dropped lower down, they have less value and um, less importance. But the thing is, it doesn't mean that those keywords are not worth using because you can use them in your DNA braid. It's just from a profitability point of view, you are putting less importance on them. Now, obviously look at those keywords and you must make the decisions if they're good and if they must be used. Okay. so. With the keyword decision screw, we get a custom filter screen where we can basically filter using makeup and it will return all the keywords with the suffix or the prefix uh, having the term makeup in them. So it's almost like a wildcard type of search. Uh, we can filter by competing pages, silo types, the lot. Okay. Now, the key features of the keyword decision screen is the silo builder where you can rapidly map out silo structured sites like literally within minutes when you know what you want. You've got the universal keyword importer, we have the business rules and filters, we have the managed blueprint keywords, uh, we have the business cost scorecard as well as the business traffic analysis. Uh, this is a very very powerful module especially when it comes to analyzing keywords and looking at them from a profitability point of view. So um, in the next videos we'll go through each core component on its own and we'll break it down and explain it all to you.